So, Maggie, welcome to the studio. Tell us about the sport of kite surfing. What is it and how did you get into it? Well, in kite surfing, your feet are strapped to a surfboard and you're holding on to a big kite and the wind takes you along on the water at tremendous speed. From the point when I started a long time ago, it took me about a year to feel I could really call myself a kite surfer. At least I was physically in good enough shape from the outset, though the lack of any really suitable instruction obstructed my progress. Having said that, it was straightforward to get everything you needed, but there wasn't the range you see now. It's become one of the fastest growing sports in the country. So what's changed in the sport during that time? Well, helmets have gained increasing popularity, and I guess they're good because if you fall off you could easily hit your head, but my generation never felt the need for one. On the other hand, the wind is the fundamental element that all kite surfers have to learn about. For example, you should never go on the water if the wind's coming from off the land, as you could be blown out to sea. And I'm not sure if kite surfers now are as up on that as we were. Of course, they'll know obvious things like not surfing in places near rocks or power lines, but sadly those hazards still aren't as flagged up as they might be. Right. And you now take part in international events. Yes, I'm going to Fiji soon for an eight-day competition. It's a new event, but the organisers are keen to get it as a regular fixture on the calendar. We'll cover 150 kilometres, and perhaps a new world record will be set in distance kite surfing. And it'll be great if, as a result of seeing me take part, people will decide to give it a go. But it's not just distance, we'll be able to show off some freestyle tricks too. But you've done some amazing distance events before. Yeah, I've kite surfed well over 100 kilometres. That was tough, particularly on the feet and knees. And the fog meant my support boat was no longer visible for a while, which was an uncomfortable feeling. Then, halfway across, I changed to a bigger kite so I could get more speed. And things went more smoothly after that. But apart from a few dolphins for company, we were out in the middle of the sea alone. An amazing achievement. So, why have you done so well, do you think? Well, it was always likely that I'd take up some kind of water sport because I grew up near the sea and my parents taught me to swim at an early age. It was the unpredictability of kite surfing that appealed to my nature, really. I've always gone for things that are less straightforward. But, of course, you don't get anywhere if you don't practice. And kite surfing's a growing sport. What do you think about the people taking it up now? Well, kite surfing's a free and easy sport without many regulations that everyone has to follow. But, having said that, I've met a number of new people who are attracted to the sport because of the stuff you do up in the air rather than on the water. What they don't realise is that the do's and don'ts of the sport have to be mastered before they try something so ambitious. They're too impatient, although one day they may well achieve great things once they've grasped those. What is there left for you to do in the sport? Enjoy it, mostly. I'll leave the competition for the young guys. But I still need to set myself goals and I'm keen to help bring a bit more sponsorship into the sport without making it too commercial. My partner's also a kite surfer. He teaches young kids in the local area and I help him. So I might even do more of that one day. Who knows? Maggie, thanks for coming in and talking. Now you'll hear part four again. That's the end of part four. There will now be a pause of five minutes for you to copy your answers onto the separate answer sheet. Be sure to follow the numbering of all the questions. I'll remind you when there's one minute left so that you are sure to finish in time.
You have one more minute left. That's the end of the test. Please stop now. Your supervisor will now collect all the question papers and answer sheets.